Tamashan tells the story of one man's uh, journey one night when he stayed in the pub a wee bit uh, too long. When Chapman and Billy's leave the street and Drusty and neighbors, neighbors meet, his market days are wearing late and folk begin to tag the gate while we sit boozing at the nappy, getting foo and unkahappy. We think now the land scots miles, the mosses, waters, slats and styles that lies between us and your he where sits your sulky, sullen day. <laughs> Gather none bruise like gathering storm, and nursing our wrath to keep it warm. <laughs> This truth, final chorus, Tam O'Shanta, as he for air a night did count. All day upon that a tune surpasses for honest men and pony lasses. <laughs> ah, Tam has now but been so wise as ten thine ain wife Kate's advice. She tell me weel, thou was a skellum, a blethering, blustering, drunken blethum, from November till October, a market night. Who was the sober, the old camelda with the miller, that drank as long as thou had saw, the old canade was canvas shoe on, the smith and thee got roaring full on, that in the lady's house, even on a Sunday, thou drank with Captain Jean till Monday. She prophesied that near or soon thou would be found deep drowned in doom, but catched by warlocks. And the muck, my alleys of haunted kirk. Ah, gentle dames, it gars me greet to think come on a queen so sweet, come on a length and sage advises the husband to the wife despises. <laughs> but tell tell, a mark at night, Tom had get planted and carried. Fast by an angle, please and finally, with Riemann's wax that drank the vine, and at his elbow, shoot up Johnny. <laughs> his agent, trusty, Druthy, crony, Tom Ludum as a very brother. Well, they've been through for weeks together. <laughs> the night drave on with sangs and clatter, and I the ale was growing better. The landlady and Tam. Good gracious. <laughs> we fear us secret, sweet, and precious. <laughs> the shooter tell his queerest stories, the landlord's laugh was ready chorus, the storm of foot might rare and rustle, down the new I the storm of whistle. Care mad to see a man say happy, even breathe her among the nappy. As bees flee him, we laid the treasure, the minutes. Wind of many good pleasure. <laughs> Times very blessed, but Tom was glorious. O'er all the hills of life, victorious. But, <laughs> <laughs> pleasures are like poppy spread. He sees the flower, the bloom is shed. Or like a snowfall in the river, a moment white that melts forever, or like the Rainbow's lovely storm, he vanish in the midst of the storm. Or like the Borealis race that flits and he can point its place. No man can tether time nor time. The hour approaches. Tom Mon right. That hour will next black arch the key stain. That dreary hour he mounts his beast in. And second it attacks the road in as they are too sad. Was abroad. The wind blew as when blown its last. The Dublin shore rose upon the blast. The lightning flashed from pole to pole, and near nor near the thunders roll. That night a child might understand the deal and the business on its hand. <laughs> we'll mount it on his grey mare Meg, or better never lift it leg. Tom stepped it on through muck and mire, despising wind, rain and fire, whilst 
Well, the fast is getting blue on it. Wells, true now, there's some old Scots on it. Wells, blurring round with prudent cares, lest bogles catch him on the wheels. Kirk Alloway was drawing nigh, or ghosts and pullets, nightly cry. But this time it was close to four, when in the snow the chap had smoked, and past the bucks and meekle stain were drunk and jolly, brash, then and pain, and you were bidden by the care of hunters from the mother bear, by the thorn up in the well, where Mungo is mellow, harmed ourselves. <laughs> Before him, doom pours forth the sludge. The Dublin storm roars through the woods, the lightning flashed from pole to pole, and near more near the thunder's rolling, glimmering through the trees. Kirk Alloway seemed in a blaze. Through Ilkabor the gleams were glancing, and loud resounding, mirth and dancing. Inspiring bold John Barleycorn. What dangers thou canst make a score? We tell thee we fear the evil, where's the battle face the devil? But the swap serene in Tammy's doddle, fair play he cared the fields of bottle, that Maggie stood, made sair astonished, until by hand and heel admonished, she ventured forth and to the night, and oh, Tom saw an uncasite. Witches! And warlocks, and a dance. Nay, Cortillon bred beauty first, but hornpipes, jigs, spies, and reels, that light and metal in their heels. A winnock bunker in the east, there sat old Nick and shapely beast, a towsy dyke, black, grim, and large, to give them music with his charge. He screwed his pipes and he gap on skull till roof and rafters all the dull. Coffin stood round like open presses, showing the deed in their last dresses. And by some devilish pentric slight, each in its call hand held a light, by which heroic time was able to note upon the hilly table. A mother of beans and jibbeans, to a wee span lang unchristened beans. A thief you cut it for a rake, with his last gasp his guard did deep. A garter that a babe had strangled, a knife a fairer's throat had mangled, whom his ain son will live bereft. A grey hair yet stuck to the head. <laughs> Five tomahawks with blood red crusted, five scimitars with murder rusted, when they are no horrible and awful, the many will be an awful. <laughs> Three warriors' tongues turned inside out. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Paisley Harm, 
Now, as I last say, she had worn in longitude, though it was scanty, it was a Roman, and she was bonty. A little cake by her reverend granny. That, sir, she coughed for her being nanny for twelve pence scores. It was all riches. Whatever grace I dance for witches. But here, my muse, her wings, my cure. Sick flights are far beyond her poor. To tell who nanny lapped and flang, what oh, a suckle joy she was and strang. Tammy stood like in bewitched and felt his very in enriched. Even Satan glowed, fights through fain and hooked and jerked, when mouth and me, the first he gave him, sign another, to untick his reason all together and yelled out, Oh, well done, Jimmy, sir! <laughs> and in an instant, all was dark. Scarcely had he Maggie rally, when out the hell it's made from Sally, as bees buzz out with angry fight, when plundering herds are sailed their bite, as eager runs the market crowd, when cast her teeth resounds her house, as open pussy's mortal foes and pop, she starts before her nose. Now, Maggie runs the witch's follower, won't you, and he'll get speech and ho, after I come, they'll get thy fear, in hell they'll rust thee, like my hell. Oh, thank you, awaits thy coming. Kate soon will be a woeful woman. Now, do thy speedy utmost, Meg, and mark the key stain on the brick. Ere it then the tear may toss, I move it stain, the tear may cross. But ere the key stain she could make, the faint a tear she had to shake, for Nanny, far afore the rest, hard with a noble Maggie bread, and blew it down with furious metal. Ah, uh, but little would say Maggie's metal. He sprang, broke forth our master hair, and left behind a ring great tail. The carlin clothed her by the rump, and left poor Maggie scarce a stump. No. While this tale the truth shall hear, elk man and mother son. Draw near, if they are to drink, you are inclined, or cut a search, run in your mind, think. You might buy the joys of oh dear. Remember, Thomas Shanter's mayor. Thank you.